draw with and something to color with and let's draw a terrifying tiger this episode is brought to you by artastickids.com if you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at artastickids.com. All right, we are doing a terrifying tiger. It's terrifying. It's a tiger. All right, terrifying tiger. Here we go, straight line in the center of your page towards the top. We're gonna add terrifying tiger ears. So one is gonna be like a nice ear, but this one was like battle scarred, so like, uh, zigzag it. Like totally let your hand go like loose, totally loose. Okay, inner ears with some curvy lines. So cute, but not. Okay, zigzag lines down. Connect at the bottom. In the center of the page, we're gonna draw a nose, a straight line. And then we're gonna curve it in on either side. And bring it down like a bubble letter, T. Okay, snout, uh, cheeks. So one curving line going one way, curving line going the other way. Zigzag lines below. And connect at the bottom with a curving line. And then you can add some more zigzag lines. Just like that. Okay, we're gonna use our angry, angry eyes. So we're gonna do a curving line down, up and over. So like our, kinda like our check marks for some angry Right, this is a terrifying tiger. And we'll use our letter U shapes on the inside for the eyes. And we're just gonna draw a nice little line along the edge here. And then we can color that in, leaving the rest white for now. Okay, we're gonna add some terrifying tiger stripes. So we'll add some stripes on the face. And then maybe we have just some paws peeking out on either side. So we'll do one oval on each side. We'll do one, two, three attached curving lines, and then go opposite one, two, three for the toes tucked in. And then to do some claws, we're just gonna color in some ovals at the bottom. Welcome to the Ms. Artastic YouTube channel where we like to make up the artwork on the spot. Yeah. Okay, we'll bring from the uh, outer toe here, line on diagonal towards the inside. Then we're gonna do the body, kind of behind it here, like it's crouching in front of us and we're like right at the face. And then just like a, like a little tail peeking way out and it's so small because it's like super far away so it looks smaller than it actually is. And of course we gotta get some stripes on this body. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, that's good. I got there. I got there eventually, guys. I know, right? Sometimes I'm, I don't know where I'm going with this when I start. Just grab two words, smack them together, see what happens. I never know. Sometimes it works out. Sometimes it's a flop, or could be better. But that's okay. It doesn't matter because every time I draw, we get better, right? 
We're exploring, we're just making art, and the whole point is that we are having fun, we're practicing, and it's about the process. Not always about the end product, but hey, it is about the end product in this case. It looks pretty cool. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. And hey, you know what, here's the thing, is that I often get inspired by, by these designs, and then I use them in my own art practice, which is Kathleen McGivern. And I apply it there. That's what you can do. Is you can take what we learned here and apply it to your own designs. All right, once you're ready, go ahead and color in your artwork using your favorite colors and mark making mediums. And once you're done, your terrifying tiger is done.